ओके लेट अस सिट कंफर्टेबली इधर सुकासना पद्मासना अर्थ पद्मासना विच वर इट कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू फाइन एरेक्ट रोल योर शोल्डर्स पाम्स ओपन टू द सीलिंग आईज क्लोज Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Take one more long deep breath in and breathe out slowly and completely. Inhale positive energy. And exhale all your worries away. Take one more long deep breath in, and breathe out slowly and completely. Now let us chant Om three times, bringing your fingers to chin mudra. Breathe in for Om. Ujjayi breathing, yes, no, yes. Okay, so you can start breathing. Inhale for eight and exhale for twelve. This is the minimum count. Okay, you can prolong it more also. Yeah. So for uh, Bhavani, I will explain. Okay. So how you are going to do Ujjayi Pranayama? So for Ujjayi Pranayama, what you need to do is. You need to contract your epiglottis. You have to contract your epiglottis. Epiglottis is nothing but the windpipe. So you need to contract the epiglottis and breathe in. So how to do that? For doing it, you need to know where how to contract the epiglottis. So first, uh, you try breathing in through the mouth. Just open your mouth a little and breathe in. you will be able to see that your epiglottis is getting from contracted or even you can do this so which portion is getting contracted that is the portion you need to 
do for contracting the epiglottis. So when you are doing this, you will be you will be able to inhale longer and deeper. Okay, and exhale also longer and deeper. Can anyone tell me how many uh, breaths you are taking in one minute normally? One breath is equal to inhale plus exhale. Preeti, you have counted, na? Yes. Okay. So we will do that exercise today. You need to count the number of breaths in one minute. Normal breathing. Inhale, exhale normally and count the number of breaths in one minute. Then do this Ujjayi breathing and count the number of breaths. You will know the difference between the two. Okay. So this Ujjayi Pranayama, it is also called as victorious breath. That is the name it comes from. And it also, one, one more name it has, it is called as ocean breathing. That is because when you are doing this, you will get a hissing sound. Yeah. So that is why it is called as ocean breathing also. Okay, now let us do together. So now, when you are doing this, you see to that when you are inhaling, your abdomen is going out and when you are exhaling, your abdomen is going in. So let us start. You can keep your hands either in chin mudra or one palm over the other or in adi mudra, sorry, maha mudra. Anything is okay. You can keep your palms in either of the mudras. But you keep your palms open like this, not down. Akka, you need to keep your hands like this. Always when you're breathing in, when you're doing, you have to keep your palms open, not like this. Yeah? Yes. So let us start. When you're breathing in, you're going to expand your abdomen, expand your chest. And when you're breathing out, you're going to contract your abdomen and pull it. Okay? Let us start. Breathe in. Once you've got the technique, you can keep your eyes closed and continue. I'm not counting. You can do the counting on your own. Inhale for eight, exhale for 12 minimum. Everyone are getting that ocean breathing sound? Yes? Thumbs up? Good. So inhale deeply. While exhaling, pull your abdomen in. Now we are going to do two bandhas. We will do two bandhas. The first one, you need to breathe in, inhale completely, expand your chest, fill your lungs completely, then bring your chin to the collarbone. Lock it. Okay? So breathe in, completely breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest, then do the, bring the chin to the collarbone. This is called a chin lock. Hold the breath, no more inhaling, exhaling. Hold it as much as you can.
Once you're not able to, breathe out. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Breathe in, hold the breath. Bring your chin to the collarbone, lock, chin lock, Jalandar Bandha. Internal retention, it is called as Kumbhaka. Hold it as much as you can. And breathe out. Do it one more time. Breathe in, expand your lungs, fill your lungs. Once full, then do the chin lock. Bring your chin to the collarbone. Lock. Once you're not able to hold further, breathe out. Okay. So this also helps in expand, in, in improving our uh, lung capacity. Okay. And this pranayama, this pranayama, ujjayi pranayama, because we are contracting the epiglottis and we are using the throat region, this is also good for uh, thyroid. Means thyroid and parathyroid glands are activated. So this is therapeutic for people who are having thyroid, okay? Then it also reduces the BP. Considerably, this reduces the BP. So it is therapeutic for BP also. One more advantage of Ujjayi Pranayama is a major advantage or uh, it's a good feature. What it is? Can anyone tell? Speciality about Ujjayi Pranayama over the other Pranayamas. Come on, Preeti, tell, tell, tell first. No. You can do, yeah. Sasi, Sasi, come, come, come. Tell, tell. First. <laughs> you can do it while uh, lying down also. Yes, you can do it while lying down also. Good, Suja. Super. You can do it in any pose. You can do it while sitting. You can do it while lying down. You can do it when you are in staying in any asana. Particularly staying in any asana, you need to do ujjayi breathing for more effectiveness. Yeah? Super. Sasi, super, Suja. Good. Yeah, I should keep uh, asking questions. Then only you will think I think so. <laughs> okay. So let us start with our warm-up. Let us sit comfortably. Let us start with our neck movement. Breathe in, neck up, look up. Breathe out, bring your chin to the collarbone. Breathe in up. Breathe out, chin to the collarbone. Breathe in, neck up. Breathe out. Bring your chin to the collarbone. Come back to center. Breathe in to the center. Breathe out, right. Breathe in center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in center. Breathe out, right. Breathe in center, breathe out left. Breathe in center, breathe out right. Breathe in center, breathe out left. Come back to center. Now take your right ear to the right shoulder with the support of the hand. Feel the nice stretch on the other side. Do it as much as you can. And slowly come back to center. Left ear to the left shoulder. Feel the nice stretch on the other side, right side. And slowly come back to center. Now bring your chin to the collarbone and we'll do the rotations. Think your breath. So breathe in for half circle. Breathe out for half circle. Do it slowly, sinking your breath. Breathe in for half circle. Breathe out for half circle. 
One more time, breathe in for half circle. Breathe out for half circle. Reverse. Breathe in, half circle. Breathe out, half circle. Breathe in, half circle. Breathe out, half circle. One last time. Breathe in for half circle. And breathe out for half circle. Come back to center. Now we'll do forever shoulders and arms. So bring your fingers forward, open your fingers and close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Fast, 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 fast. Then make your fist, rotate outward. One, two, three, four, five. Then extend as much as you can and hold it outwards for a few seconds. Outward movement complete and hold for a few seconds. Then do the inward rotation. Keep doing the inward rotation. Hold inward, hold inward for a few seconds. And slowly release. Slowly release. Now stretch your right hand to the right side and bring it to the left and hold it with the other elbow. And look towards your right. Cross arm stretch. Cross arm stretch. From the right, come to the left. One more time, I'll show you. Bhavani. From the right, come to the left. Then hold with the left elbow, but look towards your right. Stay here. And slowly release. Now take your left hand to the sides. Bring it towards the right and hold with the right elbow and look towards your left. Cross arm stretch, very good for our shoulder blades. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now slowly release your hand. Now for the shoulders, let us do shoulder up and down movements. Breathe in up. Breathe out down, breathe in up, breathe out down, breathe in up, breathe out down, breathe in up, breathe out down. Now bring your fingers on your shoulders and elbows together. We'll do the rotation. Breathe in, open your chest, breathe out, elbows together. Breathe in, open your chest, breathe out, elbows together. Breathe in, open your chest. Breathe out, elbows together. Reverse. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Relax. Relax. Now we'll do torso rotation. So keep your hands on your thighs and bend forward and rotate your torso. To the right, back, left, and down. Do it slowly, sinking your breath. Breathe in for half circle. And breathe out for the half circle. One more time. Breathe in for half circle. And breathe out for half circle. Reverse. Go to the left, back, right, and down. Go to the left, back, right, one last time. Breathe in for half circle. Breathe out for half circle. And come back to center. Come back to center. Now, let us come to table. Let us come to table. Stretch your legs down. Stretch your toes down. And come to table. See to, see to that your positions are right. Yes. Now, breathe in for half circle. Arching your back. 
breathe out into the collarbone. Breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Breathe out, curve your spine, chin to the collarbone, look towards your neighbor. Breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Breathe out, curve your spine, chin to the collarbone, look towards your neighbor. Come back to center. Now we'll do a stretch here. So raise your right hand up, thread the needle through the left. And once your shoulder is on the ground, raise the left hand up. Raise the left hand up. This is called threading the needle pose. Stay here. <laughs> Not able to get it, Praveena. Yeah, let's show it in the forward. Yeah. So I'm raising my right hand up, threading the needle through the left hand. Once my shoulder, left shoulder is on the ground, I'm raising the other hand up. Yes, stay here. Other hand up. Yes, super. And come back to center. Now we'll do the same thing with the other hand. So I'm raising the left hand up, threading the needle in between, and keeping my left shoulder is on the ground. Raise the other hand up and stay here. Stay here for a few seconds. And slowly come back to center. Come back to center. Now from here, tuck your toes and go to Adho Mukha Downward Dog. And start pedaling your feet. Pedal your feet, pedal your feet. Keep pushing your chest towards the side and head towards the mat. Head towards the mat, do some pulses. And now slowly walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward to Padavistasana. Stay here for a few seconds. Keep pushing your chest towards the side. And slowly raise up. We will do the spinal stretches. Anita, your video is off. Yeah. We'll do the spinal stretches. Stretch your hands up. Interlace your fingers. Stretch your hands up. Breathe in, all your toes up. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in, all your toes up. Up, 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 up. Fold, fold. And breathe out, come down. Breathe in, all your toes up. And breathe out, come down. Now we'll do side to side. So leg take a little gap between the legs. Take your right hand and keep it over here. Right hip, hold. Now raise your left hand up, breathe in. Breathe out to the right, side bend. Come back to center. Do it again. Breathe in up, breathe out to the right. Breathe in up, breathe out to the right. Breathe in up, breathe out to the right. Come back to center. Now left, left, left hand over the left hip. Raise the right hand up, breathe in. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in up. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in up. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in up. Breathe out to the left. And come back to center. Now stretch your legs. Move wide. We'll do the forward and twisting. Raise your hands up at the shoulder level. Now twist, bend and twist. Bring your right hand to the left big toe. Breathe in, center, breathe out, left. Breathe in, center, breathe out. Breathe in, center, breathe out, down. Breathe in, center, right to left. Breathe in, center, left to right. And come back to center. Now bring your legs together. Now stretch your right leg forward and crunch your toes, release, crunch, release, crunch, release, crunch, release, crunch, release. Crunch, release. Ankle forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Ankle rotation, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five. Now for the knees, bend your knees and hold. Hold your ankles, close your body. Stay here. Stay here for a few seconds. Then bend your knees forward, hold. Hold for a few seconds. And slowly release. Now the other leg, stretch, one, crunch, toes, crunch your toes. 
and say forward back, forward back, forward back, forward back. Ankle rotation one, two, three, four, five. Reverse one, two, three, four, five. Now bend your knees, hold, hold your ankles, close your buttons. Stay here for a few seconds. Behind. Then forward hold, hold, close your chest, stay here for a few seconds. And slowly release. Now bring your hands on the hip, tuck your tummy muscles in, and we'll do the rotation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And slowly relax. Please. Now we will start with our Surya Namaskar. Okay, we will be doing only four today. Okay, already time. Okay, we will be doing only four Surya Namaskar today and then we will go for uh, Shakti Bandhana. We will complete the whole, all the nine asanas of the Shakti Bandhana series today. Yeah, so we will quickly finish four sets of Surya Namaskar. Come to the... Uh, Mala? Huh, yes, ma'am. I have kind of a muscle catch in my back, so Surya Namaskar today I will not do. I'll just huh, wait. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So whenever you are feeling overstrained, please relax. Yeah. No issues at all. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let us come to the front end of the mat. Bring your palms together. Gratitude to the signboard. Om Surya Yanamaha. Breathe in, raise your hands up, arch your back. Breathe out, bend forward to Padahasthasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hadumka Dumbad Dog. Breathe in, come to plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg, breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padahasthasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hadum Kham. Breathe in, Plank. Breathe out, Atang. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadum Kham. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. And come back to Samasthiti. Second round, I'll spotlight Preeti. Just watch uh, mainly Praveena. Yeah. So breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg, breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Super, Priti. Yeah. Now I am going to spotlight uh, Raveena. Yeah. Yes. Now you are going to do it perfectly in plank. Okay. <laughs> okay. Start. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. 
Breathe out, Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adomukha. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, breathe in, plank is not right actually, okay? It should be up, yeah, no, plank, come to plank. Yes, look forward, not little more hip should be little more up. It should be in straight line. Yes, 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 super, yeah. Now come to Ashtanga. Now breathe in, scoop up to Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Adomukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samstiti, the other leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, come to plank. Hip should be up a little more. Keep up, keep up. Yes, keep up, plank. Yes. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, scoop up to Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Super. Okay. Now I'll spotlight Sasi. Yes. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, Father Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hadumka. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadumka. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Super, Sasi. Yeah, now once more, I will, once I will spotlight Suja. You can watch. You are able to see now. Now, Praveena got the grip of plank. Yes, super. Yes. So now once more, I'll spotlight uh, Suja. Yeah. Let us come to the frame. Last round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, Father Hustasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hadoka. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadoka. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrasthasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, Ashtanga. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back, and come back to Samasthiti. Thank you, Sucha. Super. So plank, you need to little bit raise. Okay. So now, to, now today, we will skip the weight loss Surya Namaskar. We will do all the Shakti Bandana series. All the nine asanas today we'll do. We, when we have to do all the nine together, we need time, right? So I'm skipping weight loss Surya Namaskar. Okay. Ready? We brought the short stool. Whoever is uncomfortable with Malasana, brought the short stool. Keep it ready. 
otherwise you might find it difficult do it to your body limits only okay don't overstrain so shall we start ready yes so the first one who is going to demonstrate preeti will demonstrate i know she is ready shakti vandana okay let us sit yes i will spotlight preeti so that i can watch others also yeah first is raju kashasana what is raju kashasana pulling the rope sit straight sit straight hands forward make a fist thumbs up thumbs up and then you are going to pull an imaginary rope yes pull a rope one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So the next one, next one, legs wide, legs wide. Yeah, we are going to do twist. So here also you should see to that you are not going to you are not going to bend forward. Your spine should be straight. You can hold your shin or your uh, toe based upon your capacity, but you are not going to bend forward. Yeah. So straighten up your hands at the shoulder level. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right hand to the left shin. The other hand should be straight back. the other hand should be straight back no bending forward aka no bending forward then come back to center okay i'll show you once yeah see here your spine should be straight always you are going you are twisting your hand like this the other hand should be you are not going to bend forward you are not going to bend forward bending forward will be with your spine erect not curved okay your spine should be straight move forward as much as you can move forward so if you are able to touch your toes fine but you are not going to bend forward and stretch forward straight spine the other hand back slowly slowly you will be able to move forward okay so no bending forward straighten up your hands and take your right hand to the left shin or the left big toe straight and up your spine should be straight other hand should be back So come back to center, breathe in, breathe out to the left. As much as you can, you go, but see to that your spine is straight. Yes, super, Bhavani, super. Yes, super. Yes, that's it. So straighten up your hands, breathe in, breathe out, right. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, right. After some time, you will get the flexibility to go up to the toes. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, right. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, right. This is called dynamic twist. Okay. So the next one is Chakki Chala Nasana. Here also, see to that you are not bending forward. If you are bending forward, then it will catch. Okay, no bending forward. Spine should be straight. You are moving forward along. See, there is difference, right? Bending like this and bending like this. Your spine should be straight when you are bending. Straighten up your spine, then bend forward, then only go. This is how you have to do always. Even for Pada Hastasana, you have to adopt that. Straighten up your spine, then straight. Straight go, then only bend. Okay, yes, yes. Now same thing. Now chakki chala nasana. We do. So from hands interlock, you are going to the left, to the right, back as much as you can. Okay, left, right, back, left, right, back. Now, once you get the grip, you can move forward as much as you can and bend. Come back. Okay, left, right, back. Left, right. Come back. This 
center. Yeah. Okay. Next, the anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction. Do the other direction. Right, left, back. Right, left, back. Right, left, back. Yes, super. Everyone are doing it nicely. Yes, you got the grip. No curving your back. Yes, super. Super. So what is the next one? Huh, only Preeti. <laughs> Preeti Suja. Yes, super. Rowing the boat. Yes. Come to the front. Middle of the mat. Dandasana. Sit with your spine straight. So making a yeah, fixed. You are holding an oar. Imaginary, imaginary oar. You are holding an imaginary oar. Then move forward as much as you can. Then come back as much as you can. Move forward. Come back. Here also. Breathing forward. Breathe out. Come back. 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 Now the reverse. Breathing forward. Breathe out, come back, reverse. Hands from down to up, down to up. Hands down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And slowly come back. Back to center. Yeah, from next, uh, next onward, whoever needs. Stool can use because all these are going to be Malakana series. The short stool will be useful now only for whoever is finding it difficult for sitting in Malasana because all the next five asanas will be Malasana. So sit in Malasana. Malasana is taking gap between the legs, shoulder width gap between the legs. In Namaskara, in Namaskara, you are pushing your Pushing your thighs outwards with your elbows and sitting in Namaskara. Okay, here also you are not curving your back. Always remember your curve will be straight. It can be slant but not curved. Remember that. Straight. Now we are going to do the chopping of the wood. So interlace your fingers like this. You are going to chop the wood. So breathe in up. Breathe out down. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. Forcefully. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. 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 Okay? Yes. Now, if you're feeling uncomfortable, you can relax and release the tension in the back. Release the tension in the back. Then we will go for the next. What is the next? Namaskar asana. Namaskar asana. So you are going to sit again in Malasana only. But here you are going to use your, I mean, movement of your neck is the important part. So breathe in, sit in Malasana, breathe in, neck up. And by breathing out, bring your chin to the collarbone. At the same time, extend your hand forward. So breathe in, neck up, breathe out, hands forward. Breathe in, neck up. Breathe out, hands forward, chin to the collarbone. Breathe in, neck up. Breathe out, chin to the collarbone, hands forward. Yeah, this is a therapeutic for your thyroid. So the next three asanas, the next three asanas I will show, show you. Next is called the Vayu Nikshasana. This also be very careful if you are having any hip pain or any knee pain, you need to little bit be careful, okay? So what we do here is, we come to Malasana only. I'll show you in the front pose. First position is Malasana. Yeah, already Preeti has come. So you keep your hands below your toes. You keep your fingers below your toes. Keeping your fingers below your toes, you will raise your upper body up. Come down again to Malasana. In side pose, it will be like this. So breathe in up and breathe out down. Okay? Hands below. 
hands below, palms are, sorry, fingers are below your toes. So breathe in up, breathe out down. Okay, you're bending forward. Okay, if you are having any hip pain, don't do it, please. Yeah, your hands should be below. If your knees need not come straight, you can go, knees can be bent also, but you need to, you should not take your hands off from the door. Your knees can be bent, or if you are get, getting the grip, then you bring your knees straight. Okay, first initially knees can be bent. Super, just super. Super. Yes. Slowly do it. Do it slowly. Super. Super. Yeah, super. Yes, everyone are doing it nicely. Yes. Up. This is called a skin releasing pose. Why you nikshasana? Up and down. Okay. Now don't do it too much. If uh, this has we need to practice little bit, little bit. Okay. So then, then the next one, the next two are somewhat related. Okay, the next one is Kavachala Nasana or the crow walk. So for crow walk also, you need to sit in Malasana. Sit in Malasana first. The first position is sitting in Malasana. Then bringing your hands on your knees or thighs. Now what we do? Take your right leg down. Right knee to the left. Yes, this is called a crow walk. Like this. We do the crow walk. Crow walk. You can even move forward, walking forward. Crow walk. This is called a crow walk. This also be a little bit careful. You are, because you will be twisting your ankle. So do it a little bit slowly. As much as you can only you do. With, with practice only these things will come. To the right and to the left. Okay, to the right and to the left. To the right and to the left. Yeah, for this only I told you need to bring the prop. If suppose you are uncomfortable doing it, you can sit in the stool. You can sit in the stool and just do this movement. Anita, yeah, you can do this movement. So that you will be twitching your abdomen, but you will not be putting pressure on the ankles. Yeah? Initially, we can do this. Our aim is to twist our abdomen here. Yes, super. Anita, super. Yes, that's what. So this is what you can do. If we, if we are feeling any pressure on our hip. Yeah? Yes? Yes. So the next one. Can we go to the next? We'll practice, we'll practice often, don't worry. So the next one is seated Udara, seat, seated twist. So you're sitting in Malasana first. Then here what you do, you keep your hands on your knees or the thighs. You will be pushing your right knee and bringing it to the left big toe. That is the first rule. Second, your spine should be straight. And you're turning and looking back. Turning and looking back. Then come to Malasana. Left knee to the right big toe. And spine should be straight. Look back. Here also, if you're having any pain in your hip, you can sit in the prop. Sit in the prop. Sit in the prop and do initially if you're feeling any pain. Okay? So you are going to take your right knee to the left big toe, twist and look back, come back, left knee to the right big toe, twist and look back, and come back. Yeah? Yes? Your spine should be straight. This is one of the asana which we will be using in our detox also. Okay? So right knee to the left big toe, twist and look back. Left knee to the right big toe, twist and look back. Right knee to the left big toe, twist and look back. Left knee to the right big toe, twist and look back. Yeah? Yes, yes. Due to your capacity, don't overstrain. Yes, super, super, super. Praveena, super. Sasi, super. Super. 
Yeah, Nandita, Nandita are doing super. First day said she picked up. <laughs> super, good. Yeah. So this is one of the asana which we will be using in uh, which uh, we will be using in Lagu Shanka Prakshalana. It is called as detox. There is a detox process in uh, yoga which helps in our digestion nicely. It helps. It helps in detoxing all the. All, all the toxins will be eliminated in that process. It also, it is, it also helps a little bit in weight loss also, not too much, but it helps in, it aids in weight loss. Yeah? Yeah, our seniors have done it. Preeti, Suja, Sasi, not Suja, Sasi. Okay? They will share the experience with you one day. We will do it after a month. One month, after one month, we will do the detox process also on a Saturday. Okay? Now let us rest. We will do the closing sequence. Lie down on your mat. Lie down on your mat. Knees pointed upwards. Hands above. Hands above your head. Interlocking at the elbows. This is a resting pose called a Tadagasana. So now today we need we gave some work for our hips now. So we will need to do the bridge pose compulsory. So bring your hands and hold your ankles. Bring your hands and hold your ankles and slowly raise your hip up. Raise your hip up. Take the support of your hands, bring it a little more up. And stay here. Your chin will be touching the chest. Bridge pose. Say the Bandhasana. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly bring your hip down. Now stretch your legs down. So bend your right leg and hold it close to your chest. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five. Release your right leg. Bend your left leg. Hold it close to your chest. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five. Release your left leg. Bend your both the legs and hold. Hold here, stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now slowly doing the rocking and rolling. Up and down, up and down movement. Up and down movement. And side to side movement. Side to side movement. Side to side, side to side, and slowly come back to center and straighten up your legs. Straighten up your legs down, hands at the shoulder level to the sides. Now bend your right leg, keep it over your left thigh, and push your right knee towards the left and look towards your right palm. Stay here, stay here. Universal spinal twist. It gives nice relaxation for the back. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come back to center. Release your right leg. Bend your left leg, keep it over your right thigh. Push your left knee towards the right and look towards your left palm. Stay to that, your left shoulder is on the ground. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come back to center and release your. Legs. And you can lie down in Shavasana. Today we will be doing a breath-based relaxation. 
Lie down in Shavasana. Follow the rules of Shavasana. Legs apart. Toes falling outwards. Hands by the side of the body. Palms facing upwards. Nose pointed to the ceiling. Eyes closed. Your complete weight of the body is on the mat. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. When you're breathing in, your abdomen should go up. When you're breathing out, your tummy should go down. So now let us start. Take your attention to your right foot. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, down, relax. Attention to your right knee. Breathe in up. Breathe out, relax. Right hip joint. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Relax your right leg completely. Now attention to your left foot. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Left knee. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Left hip joint. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Abdomen center. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Navel center. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Chest center. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right side of your chest. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Left side of the chest. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Chest center. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Throat center. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right shoulder joint. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right elbow. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Right wrist. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Right elbow. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Right shoulder joint, breathe in, breathe out, relax. Throat center, breathe in, breathe out, relax. Left shoulder joint, breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Left elbow. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Left wrist. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Left elbow. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Left shoulder joint. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Throat center, breathe in, 
Breathe out, relax. Eyebrow center. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. The whole body is relaxed. Your mind is also become calm now. Now stay in stillness and silence for a few more seconds. Now slowly start making movements. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Stretch your legs, toes out first. Stretch your hands above your head and slowly roll to your right side. And whenever you're feeling comfortable with the support of the left hand, slowly sit up. Slowly sit up with your eyes closed. In this calm state of mind, let us pray and bless this whole world. Bringing your palms together. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Ma Kashit Dukha Bhagavate Om Shanti 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 Hi Grab your palms. Drop it on your eyes. Feel the warmth, feel the energy. Now looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Have a beautiful day.